and as soon as I put them on I said oh my gosh like I think I just found my new favorite pair of denim hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome it's your girl Dana Alexia and oh god I'm sorry I'm so rude <laughs> I need to put my phone on silent as you can tell from the title we're doing a Zara spring haul try and haul because we j it's just it's time I'm definitely long overdue for this and I did post on my story a few weeks ago that I was shopping for some essentials and basics and I got so many DMs to do a Zara try and haul you guys have been asking for more clothing try and hauls so we're gonna bring those back and to be honest I am pretty much starting from scratch with my closet which is very frustrating yeah it, it's it's very necessary <laughs> it's very necessary because getting dressed most of the time is a nightmare it's dreadful and i love to dress up i love putting pieces together that is literally my favorite thing to do but when you're lacking essentials and basics and just so many things it makes it a nightmare it makes you like verge of tears if you know you know i mean zara's been that girl but zara has just been zara's been our go-to honestly it's one of the very few in-person stores that you can actually get a lot of items and just find some really really nice pieces especially for outings last minute outfits and stuff like that they did just come up with some new things i want to film this before i get some more pieces i don't want this video to be too long so i have more than enough items to show you guys in this haul but yeah before we get into this video if you're not already subscribed to my channel click that button down below i feel like i haven't said that in so long it's so generic but no for real if you're not already if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you want to see some more hauls and just some more videos make sure to hit that button down below also give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate it um yeah without further further ado let's go ahead and get into this haul but majority so, of the items i'm going to be showing you guys are basics are essentials because i need them real bad and ever since getting these pieces my life has already become a lot easier when it comes to getting dressed like, I already feel a little bit of relief because I have a couple pieces I can um, interchange. I have a few outfit ideas, and it just, I need to keep this going. The first item I'm going to start with is actually this blouse that I'm wearing right here. I literally just bought this, like, two days ago. A lot of the items that I end up getting is because I see them on TikTok, and I think we all know, <laughs> as a collective, Zara doesn't do the greatest, no, they don't do a good job at showing what these clothes look like on the models they just don't and if i had let that stop me i wouldn't have half of the items that i have in my closet you have to try them on especially if you have any bit of curve i think even if you're not curvy even if you don't have a little bit of curve i just think the average person does not look like the zara model the average person is not like 5, 10, 6 feet, and a size double zero or a size zero. Okay, so if there's something that you see from Zara and you're not tried on, because 8 times out of 10, you will actually like it. It's actually crazy. I don't even look online to see how it fits on the model anymore because there's no point. I'll ha also have my measurements down below, but I'm 5 feet. <laughs> so with that too, it is also kind of frustrating because a lot of pants, most pants, jumpsuits, and coats from Zara... I will like want it so bad I'll love it and it just does not work I literally just recently tried on a black leather trench coat because I've been wanting it from Zara it finally restocked I tried it on I don't even think it was an inch from the floor Pro probably about half an inch from touching the floor um, and I still bought it brought it home and I just realized you look dumb so I brought it back <laughs> I brought it back but yes so i am in search of a long black leather trench coat so if you know where i can get one for petite people please let me know but anyway so honestly when i found this the other day i was like no you're not gonna get this but just try it on you don't need another white blouse because you just got another one and you already have a long sleeve one from zara um the only difference is it has these belt buckles but I really like this because I just think it's different. And again, I mean, this is not a necessity. But because this is an essential piece, a white button-up blouse, you can also get one with some details on it to just, you know, spruce up the wardrobe a little bit, add a little razzle-dazzle to a plain button-up look. I think this with some all... I don't have white trousers. We're getting to upgrading my trouser wardrobe because currently I only have 
one pair of trousers and they're light gray and I got this in an extra small I could have also got the small but because it's cropped I didn't want it to be too I just wanted a little bit more of a fitted a fitted look and I still have a little bit of room so but I think this with if you want to do all white this with some white trousers with just this little detailing right here it looks really really nice a matching skirt I think I took a photo so I'll put it on the screen if I can find it but so here's the thing I actually have been wanting some of these tennis skirts um, and I was gonna get the skirt but because it had the belt loops and the, the belt is removable but I don't like that it has the belt loops because I don't only want the tennis skirt to wear with this I want to be able to wear with other things and not need a belt. And I think uh, removing the belt and just having empty belt loops is a little awkward. It's not the end of the world, but I just personally would rather get a plain white tennis skirt with no belt loops in it. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get it, but I did try this on with a white maxi skirt. And I was actually really digging this look. I don't know if it's because I had the braids as well. I really love this shirt. I'm really glad I got this. I think this will even look nice with, I mean it's a white top. You can wear this with literally any color, pants, jeans anything so I really like that and then I ended up getting the skirt there's actually two tops that I saw that you can wear with this there's a I've been wanting it I actually wanted this in the brown and there's a t-shirt with like a little cutout on the shoulder that I really wanted but I'm pretty sure every time I I'm about to like actually go and get it or order it it's sold out so I saw that they had the white they also have a cropped halter tie neck top that you can wear with this for the summer that was also out of stock so I was just like let me grab the skirt and I also really like how this looked with the blouse as well I really liked it so oh, this I, I feel like I could honestly wear these together as well but I don't have any white skirts nothing so this with a white bodysuit will look good a white blouse there's so many things that I can wear this with so I got these in a small and this was $39.90 it's slightly sheer but it's it's not anything crazy I don't think so the next item I got I actually think I got these like two weeks ago I said in my last haul y'all were gonna see me get a lot of denim because we're lacking in every department but the denim now that I have this and I got those other black pair of denim from Good American when I worked with Nordstrom, I'm pretty much good now. Honestly, I noticed I, I have a bunch of skinny jeans and I don't reach for them. I think, are we still wearing skinny jeans? I need to know because I, I like don't want to wear my skinny jeans and it's not because I don't see anyone else wearing them. I just don't like the vibe anymore, which is crazy because all I wore a few years back we're skinny jeans now I'm contemplating getting rid of them but I know with fashion everything comes back in style everything starts trending again it goes and comes it's a cycle so but I, I don't even know by that time I don't even know if I'm gonna fit in them but that's why I was like I need some denim because everything was just skinny jeans and I just it just was not <laughs> it just I did not want to wear skinny jeans so I got these pair of light wash distress denim I've been needing a pair of light wash distressed denim ever since I grew out of my Levi's. If you remember a few years back during the pandemic, I found these pair of Levi's out of Ritzia and they were just they just fit so perfect. And if you know anything about Levi's, they make your butt look really well. The high waisted ones at least. And about a year and a half ago I grew out of them and I still have them because I just don't want to get rid of them. They're just they were just you know when you find that really good um pair of like fitting denim that was it but they don't fit anymore so I also have like a slight hoarding problem when it comes to my clothes but we're getting there because I feel like if you can't reach for it, if you can't wear it if it can't go up past your knees I don't really think why we need to keep it but anyways actually I was torn on which size to get this is a size 4 I literally just washed these so I'm not sure how they fit now since washing them but they already look like they're a little bit more fitted, which is good. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the, the 2, the 4, or the 6. So the size 2 was extremely fitted. It was still straight, but it, was, it wasn't oversized at all. It made my butt look amazing. I almost got the 2 just because of how nice it made my, my butt look. But I knew I already got another pair of denim from Zara that is straight leg and a size two and more fitted. I was like, no, stay on task. You need 
oversized baggy straight leg jeans that are distressed so i got the four i really need to get these tailored i wore them twice already and these are just like even with heels these are dragging on the floor so i'm gonna get these tailored i'm excited to see how we, i don't think i've ever gotten my denim tailored and for someone who's you know my height i already know based on how everything fits me but i need to invest time and effort into doing that finding a good tailor because you know i make it work but i know my clothes could fit me so much better and be a lot more flattering to the eye and just for myself so we're gonna be doing that soon i know i, I know i keep saying i need to find a tailor i'm gonna find a tailor no we really gotta find a tailor sis so we're gonna find that but i got these in a size four and yeah they fit really really well the waist is also big i almost got the six because if i wanted that super baggy oversized look i was actually digging it it was super oversized but when i pulled the waist in i kind of liked the vibe so obviously i have to get it tailored but i really really liked the look but i was just like i need something that's not too baggy just nice and loose fitted for now our has really great jeans okay really really great jeans i styled them with this blouse that i also got from zara poplin pocket white button-up shirt i got this in a size extra small because it's pretty loose fitting i actually i've been wearing this i went on vacation just recently to st lucia and i wore this with a skirt i wore this with i love these okay so i actually got this in another color which i'll be showing you guys shortly but you can't go wrong with a white button up these ignore the wrinkles i will just wash them but i also got it in black i got the same size i got the same size extra small i'm not sure how much i paid for these but i'll put the i think these were i feel like they were like 30 40 but i really needed the black as well i don't have any black blouses which is crazy but this would also look good with denim with any color trousers black trousers i really have been wanting to do more all black elevated looks and i feel like those days where you don't know what to wear you cannot go wrong with an all black look especially the plain ones and you know when you just you go extra with the accessories i have just been loving surprisingly i don't have any accessories for this video and if you have been seeing zara has amazing amazing accessories earrings amazing jewelry to be honest they're stepping up the game with their bags as well i actually got something so i'm gonna show you guys that as well but they're just doing such a great job and i'm just loving it because it's zara isn't super cheap but they're not i wouldn't say zara is expensive to be honest i think in this economy everything's just nothing's cheap but for the style that you're getting for these pieces that you're getting that give quality that give you know what i'm going for um zara's price point is great you know we still want to look cute get a new bag cute little bag but it doesn't have to be a designer it can be from zara or it can be from h&m a lot of these stores nowadays are really coming hard with their accessories they're working over time till when it's over and honestly it's working so i love that because i get to save my money i don't feel pressured to buy certain expensive items and you know what i mean if it's not like a staple or an everyday item you don't need to pay that much money for it personally that's what i i've learned over over the years there's a lot of bags i have that i'm just like why but anyways yeah i actually wore this with a long black maxi skirt a fitted black maxi skirt and i really liked it um i wore this with the l'oreal brand event with a black headband because i had nothing to wear and i was like you have an all black fit so just like i just said it worked out perfectly so i'm learning with building my capsule wardrobe more black clothes because you could just throw like a blazer, um, black denim, black trousers, black bodysuit, black blouse, black t-shirt, black tank top, black leather jacket, black coat, and then boots, um, strappy sandals, sneakers, whatever. Just the next item I got is this skirt. I honestly only got this because I was going on vacation and I had like no, like, you know, little what do you call these i don't know i had no beachy you know vacation vibes no satin skirts i did but i don't know it just i didn't have anything to wear it with if you follow me on instagram then well first of all if you watched my vlog for saint lucia if you haven't go check it out but if you haven't um if you have then you know i wore this on my second last day when i went to go make the chocolate and i wore this with the white top and it was such a cute outfit i just wore them with my white 
or my sandals and it just was such a vibe i had my little jewelry my little beach bag it was such a cute outfit i feel like for summer a satin skirt is an essential i got this in an extra small this was 55.90 i do need to take this to get tailored as well the waist is really big um i want it to fit more high-waisted but this is such a nice color you guys know well if you're not new here you know green is my favorite color so i love anything that has green on it so the next item is some denim i got another pair of denim this is the denim i was telling you guys about this um i love these i got these i think about a month ago i got so many because i took a picture in the fitting room i got so many dms to link these listen these fit so freaking good one thing i've learned with zara from this day if you are petite or if you just have a really short torso Zara's mid-rise is gonna be your high-rise listen I tried on some high-rise jeans they were at my nipples Zara's high-rise is literally right here I was no I was like be fucking for real it was I was so I it just got really mad I was like this is crazy but then I found these and it's so I think it was just God because I didn't go searching for these I found these in the fitting room on the rack someone put them back and they put back a size six but I really liked the wash of them and I had no denim to try on my tops with so I was like can I just try that on so it was a size six and even the size six I could have made it work I did gain a little bit of you know weight which I'm happy about but I could have done the size six if I wanted a little bit more of an oversized look so I was like can I get these in my size and as soon as I put them on I said oh my gosh like I think I just found my new favorite pair of denim it, I, it was one of those moments so as you can see it's like a it has a slight greenish I don't know like a greenish yellow tint to the wash on the website the color is like this color is called light blue but I feel like I mean it is light blue but it's like definitely especially if you compare it to this one it's definitely more like green but I got these in a four I don't know how much I paid for these but I'm pretty sure they were like 65 they just have a little rip on the back of the foot but other than that there's no distressing but these fit so good ever since that day i am actually like scarred from trying on any high-rise jeans from zara i don't want to try them on because it's just it's crazy they're way too high like way too high the mid-rise literally fit me like a high-rise and i got this tank it's this high neck sleeveless tank i actually saw this on tiktok and i thought it was really, really cute this looks really good with the that green wash denim that i just showed you guys i haven't worn it yet so i still have the tag on it and it was 14.90 which is really 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 good and it's actually a really thick ribbed material it's really thick and super stretchy i don't know what other color i'm pretty sure they have this in like white and black and i got this in a size small i don't like how in some items are as small as the smallest size and then sometimes they have extra small I just feel like they should be consistent with that especially because there's little people there are little people out there like me who sometimes need an extra small so sorry if you're watching this just yeah <laughs> so the next item I got I actually did not plan to get this I was doing an exchange and I needed to find another item for the credit um, Zara is super strict on their returns. I was a day over and they were not having it. But luckily they allowed it because... Allowed it. That's so Toronto. I don't think you... They allowed it because... Um, I got an extra small in this set and it was still too big. I was like, I can't wear it. They're like, you can get the same style in a different size. I said, it's too big. I can't wear it. So they're like, you know what? Okay. So I needed... That's actually how I got this top and this and the white skirt. And then I still had money left over on the credit. So I got this. I've actually been seeing a lot of people wear this bag. And I've been wondering where it's from. It's from Zara. This is so cute. This is like the perfect little vacation crossbody. Especially if you have... It doesn't have to be the Hermes sandals. But I know oh, it's like the Hermes sandals are a staple for vacation. And if you have that Hermes brown. This goes perfectly with them. I actually can wear it with this this sorry i don't know why i just got so excited but i can wear it with this this was 49.90 it zips open and there's a like i said it's a crossbody so and i know i'm gonna get a good wear out of this this summer actually i need to put it somewhere here 
I need to actually rearrange. It's not looking that, it's looking very cluttered. I need to take out some stuff and some boxes and stuff, but nonetheless, um, this is a really nice bag. I've been seeing a lot of people with this. I've been seeing this all over TikTok, Instagram, and I'm like wondering where is this little, this cute little bag from? It reminds me of the Louis Vuitton vanity case. Um, yeah, I really like this. So. Um, I got another clutch. I know you guys have been seeing this in both the gold and the silver. I finally got my hands on this. I got this right before I left for my trip. And yeah, I've been needing a new gold clutch because the one I have is from PLT and it's it's not even like gold. It's like, I don't know, like a champagne gold color. I had no like true gold accessories and I wear gold like every day, especially even when I'm going out. It's very rare that I'm wearing silver. I'm always wearing gold, so I really needed a gold clutch. They also have this in the silver. I think I want the silver as well. And I mean, it, it's super affordable, so like, why not? I need to take my Bottega, can you see it? I need to take my silver Bottega clutch in to get fixed because the metallic paint is coming off. So um, we have one last item. This is one of my favorite items that I have gotten because this is a staple. This is also a style of something I've wanted for a really long time. I showed you guys this actually a few months ago. So I got these gator boots. I've been wearing them, <laughs> as you can see. They also sit on my bottom shelf. So they sit like this because my bottom shelf isn't high enough to have them stand up straight. But, I mean, the leather, it looks fine. It's leather. So I love these. I've been see I think Zara came out with these back in like October. And they still have them because, I mean, everyone's just been buying them. They're such a nice piece. I also just wore these to the Nicki Minaj concert and they looked so good with my outfit. Like I love these boots so much and these are super comfortable. It's a kitten heel. Like do you see how high this heel is? I wore these, I walked around Soho for 30-40 minutes in these and my feet were fine. Like I love these so much, they're so comfortable. So these are actually a dupe for a pair of boots from La Sila, which is a designer brand. I don't know the name of the boots. I know a lot of people were saying that they are a dupe for the Givenchy Shark Lock. Shark Lock, right? Yeah, Shark Lock boots, which is true, yes, but they, I feel like they look a lot more like the boots from La Sila. I feel like they look pretty much identical to the La Sila ones. They're definitely a dupe for both of those. If you're not trying to spend, I think the shark boots are like $3,000. I paid $129 for these, which is really cool. I used to want the Givenchy shark lock boots so bad. And now that I have a Givenchy Antigona bag, I felt like, you know, I really wanted the boots. But to be honest, I got these and they go like, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. You don't need a designer boot to match your designer bag. If you find something that matches it regardless, I mean, yeah, these look so good together. Like this with... The bag, you can't tell me I don't look expensive. I got these in a size 35. They fit fine. At first, I felt like they fit a little snug and I wanted to try the 36, but I was leaving to my trip the next day. I don't even remember, but the 35 is fine, basically. I just recently checked and I think they only have five and sixes in these. Hopefully they restock these. I know it's summer now or basically about to be summer, so I don't know. But obviously I'll link everything down below. Alright, so those are all the items that I got from Zara currently. I will be doing some more shopping. Um, and of course I'll show you guys. <laughs> let me know what other... Well, let me know where you guys are shopping at actually. Because I need some help. I'm, I, I feel like I'm pretty much starting from scratch with my wardrobe. I have so much pants. So much pants, yet none of them are staples or essentials. I can't just wear them with anything. And it's it's frustrating because it's different if my closet was empty. But to have your closet full of so many things and you barely have space and nothing, like, n nothing makes sense, I'm just like, what was all this for? You know what I mean? So I know H&M is coming with some fire right now. I need to head over to H&M and find some items because I've been seeing... Quite a few hauls and i haven't shopped at h&m in a while but yeah i have my eyes on h&m revolve of course but i feel like revolve is very like personally i feel like more special occasion because they are more on the pricey side and not everybody wants to spend 200 dollars on a blouse everybody is me because i don't love revolve but and i mean also with that being said let me know what other clothing stores or brands you want me to do a haul on 
and you know if i can find some stuff i'll definitely do that for you guys Bing. let me know if you actually have any of the items that i shared with you guys all the sizes links and everything will be down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it um, if you're not already subscribed don't be shy <laughs> join the fam i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one